In NBA 2K20, there are 36 attributes that make up a player's overall. And then I have shrunk that down into 11 main groups to find out what the best attribute is in NBA 2K20. So how we're actually gonna be doing this video to find out what the best attribute to use inside of NBA 2K20 is, is that we have 11 different teams with 11 different attributes. Starting off here, we got the Philadelphia Dunks. So what we've done is for dunking, we have upgraded a full team of players and they only have 99 standing dunk and 99 driving dunk. And then every other stat that they have is a 20 by. That way, literally, the only thing they can do is dunk and everything else they are complete garbage at. Then also, I've gone over to tendencies. That way, they do not shoot at all. And they actually only go for dunks in the game. And then we have a team of players that can only dunk. The next attribute we have is layup. And this is going to be layups as well as close shots. So this player has 99 driving layup and 99 close shots. So the only thing they can do is score underneath the basket, but they can't dunk. Next up, we got 99 mid range, and it's just as easy as that. I gave this player 99 mid range, and then I also gave them that 99 free throw. Because if you can shoot the mid range shot good, you're going to be able to hit some free throw. Next, we got a team with 99 three. So, of course, their three point shot is going to be 99. And then I also gave them a 99 free throw as well. Next up, we got 99 post. So, in NBA 2K20, there are three post move attributes post hook post fade and post control so i gave this player 99 in all three of those categories next up we got 99 passing so for this player i gave them 99 pass accuracy 99 pass iq and 99 pass vision so this player is just going to be great at dishing the ball as a team this won't be too good because nobody on this team can actually score then we got 99 ball handle this player is 99 ball handle 99 speed with ball we have to make sure they're actually going to be fast at ball handling and then 99 hands as well. Then we have 99 interior defense. So this player is going to have 99 interior defense, 99 block, as well as defensive IQ, pass perception, and defensive consistency is all going to be at 99 as well. Next, we got 99 perimeter defense, and this player is going to get 99 perimeter D, 99 steal instead of that block since they're going to be better on covering the perimeter. They're going to have the defensive consistency, pass perception, and help defense as well. And they're also going to have lateral quickness because, of course, if you're good at covering the perimeter, you're going to have to be pretty quick laterally in order to stay in front of player. Next up, we got 99 rebound. This player just has 99 offensive and 99 defensive rebound. Then we got 99 athleticism. And this player has the most attribute categories. They got lateral quickness speed acceleration strength vertical stamina and hustle for some reason uh when these players get together their hustle goes down to 98 i actually cannot upgrade that at all but those are going to be all of our teams of attributes leave your comment down below on which attribute you think is going to do best during the season the highest overall is going to go to the perimeter defense they have a 63 overall but I don't think they're going to do the best because they're not going to be able to score. In my opinion, I think it might go to the three-point shooters. But leave your comment down below on which team you think will actually go and win this NBA championship. And then the rest of the teams are just going to be a full team of 40 overall players that are five foot four, So they're going to be complete garbage and our other teams when they face them are just going to get a free win. And then I've also split up the conferences. Uh, so in the West, we have five of our teams. And then in the East, we have six of our teams. That way, everybody does make playoffs. And then we can actually watch a playoff battle between all of these teams. Also, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, these rosters do take a very long time to actually create and set up. So if you guys could leave a like on this video, that would be very, very appreciated. Let's try to go for like 3,000 likes. Nothing too crazy. That'd be sweet. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you do subscribe. All right, we made it to the end of the season. This random guy got MVP. He had 36 rebounds a game, which is just absolutely insane. He is a 40 overall. 
I don't know how he managed to get 36 rebounds per game. That's crazy. I mean, these awards don't really mean much at all uh, because the regular season stats are just all over the place. It does not matter, those awards. But we have made it to the end of the season, and the standings are a lot different than how I thought they would turn out. So in the West, the team of Dunkers actually does the best, and they only had one loss the entire season. And their only loss came to the team of mid-range shooters. So only one loss for the Dunkers. Then the three-point shooters were second in the West with 75 wins. And then a bunch of 40 overalls were up next. We got four 40 overall teams. And then we have the perimeter defense of barely making it in the playoffs, getting that number seven seed. And then if we scroll down to the bottom here, our worst team was the players with 99 post moves. Doesn't make much sense. Los Angeles passing was near the bottom there, which does actually make sense because all they can do is pass and they're not good at really anything else. They're still going to brick their shots. They're pretty much random with the other 40 overall teams. Uh, but this... This, these post move players should have been able to make playoffs quite easily because they have 99 scoring abilities. But I mean, they just miss so many shots. As you can see, they only shot 25% from the post, which is just awful. Field goal percentage is just so bad. They ended up being the worst team because I did make them only shoot post moves as well. And I guess they just weren't consistent at doing so. Going over to the East, though, the rebounders are at the top with 79 wins. Then we got the 99 layup with 68 wins, 99 mid-range with 66 wins. Then we have a few 40 overall teams here. And barely not making playoffs is the interior defense. And again, I, it, I think it's just because they couldn't score. Uh, when you don't have scoring abilities, it's all luck. Even though they could get some stops on defense, they weren't able to beat any of our good teams. Uh, we got the Memphis ball handle. Again, it's something that doesn't help too much if you're not able to score. And then we got athleticism down at the bottom here. So despite being way faster than any other team, they could have just ran around everybody, got a free layup. They actually get the worst record in the entire NBA. So a little weird how some of that stuff ended up working out there. And for the most part, you needed to be a pretty good score in order to do good, except for the team of 99 rebound. Despite not having any scoring attributes, they were still able to put up 79 wins. So we're just going to hop into the playoffs now. I'm going to go on a team that's actually not in the playoffs. That way we don't affect how anything turns out. So we're going to be on the Thunder here. So we have three of five teams in the West that ended up making playoffs. And then three of six teams in the East that ended up making playoffs. So about half of the teams actually end up making it six for 11. And then some of our teams actually pretty much have buys to the conference final. All right, so at the end of the first round, we got a 4-0 sweep for our team of dunkers. No surprise right there. Three-point shooters, 4-0 sweep against the perimeter defenders. In the east, the rebounders with a 4-0 sweep, mid-range shooters with a 4-0 sweep, and then the layups actually win 4-1. Simulating another round right here, though. Looks like all of these matchups are going to be sweeps, and they are. Every single matchup was a sweep. So in the Western Conference Finals, we got our Dunkers facing off against our three-point shooters. And in the East, we got rebounders facing up against layups. So this is not how I expected it to go at all. I mean, I, I just wasn't expecting the rebounders to do so good. I thought it would have been maybe layups and mid-range shooting. The rebounders in the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's see which two teams are going to make it to the NBA Championship. Looking like it's going to be sweeps on both sides of the bracket. And it is. So coming out of the East, we got our team of rebounders. And out of the West, we got our team of dunkers. I mean, I guess the rebounders make sense. Because they pretty much have like unlimited opportunities to keep on scoring on offense. And then on defense, everybody, unless the team's really good at shooting, if they miss, they get a rebound pretty much 100% of the time. So I guess it does make a little sense how they ended up making it. But we are in the NBA Finals now. And let's see which team is going to win the 99 rebounders with a 3-0 lead. 
And our 99 rebounders are down by four in game number four of the NBA Finals. So they still have a chance at actually going ahead and winning this. But let's see how it turns out. We'll actually get to watch the end of the game right here and see how the rebounders were able to do this good. Here we go inside. Tough shot. That's no good. The dunkers with the ball here. Here's a dunker. Just got to put up the three-pointer, and that's going to be no good. I don't think, I don't even know if it's possible them, for them to score four points in a minute. Just got to get lucky with a shot here. Time running down. They're going to put up the mid-range shot, and it's in and out. They get the rebound. They were wide open right there. I don't know why they didn't go up for that. I mean, I guess their IQ isn't too high. Again, time running down. They're going to have to put up a three-pointer this time. That's no good. And they get the rebound yet again, though. So this is how they do so good. They just have unlimited chances almost on offense. We go the rebounders again. Got to put up the tough shot. It's no good. And finally, the dunkers getting the ball. And the dunkers are finally going to get a game here. And in game number five, the 99 dunkers are actually going to get a another game. So now the lead down 3-2. And in game number six, the Dunkers with another big lead here at the end of the game. And they're going to tie it up at three. So we are going to be going into a game number seven between the 99 rebounders and the 99 Dunkers. And the 99 Dunkers up by seven, only a minute left in the game. And that's going to secure them the W in game number seven giving them the reverse sweep against the 99 rebounders so that's pretty crazy how that ended up going down i mean the rebounders with a nice point right there but i don't think they'll be able to come back if we go over to box score and we go over to dunks okay so they are actually throwing down dunks i wanted to make sure that they're actually getting inside and dunking they weren't just shooting and getting lucky but I mean, they would have had to get really lucky to make it all this way. Check out the amount of rebounds. Some of these rebounders have though, 20, 18, 16, 15. That is pretty crazy. And the team of dunkers only have one rebound the entire game. So, I mean, that's kind of why they were down by so much. There they are holding up that trophy. Everybody looks the exact same because they are the exact same person. And uh, 99 dunk. 99 dunks is going to get finals MVP there. And the funny thing about the dunkers actually winning is that they were the lowest overall players in this entire simulation. They originally started at a 41. Uh, they hit some shots. Uh, so some of their stats actually went up here, but all their stats are still pretty garbage. They won because they were able to throw down dunks. But it's just funny that the attribute that had the lowest overall actually ended up winning. Just to show you that overall in NBA 2K doesn't mean the most. I mean, it's all position based and some attributes are better than others, but they don't weigh in as much. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Again, if you did enjoy it, make sure that you do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. That way you don't miss out when I upload. This has been your boy Smeekle and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and double. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the